Hello everybody, this is Mithril Zenith, and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I've been talking a lot and thinking a lot about why are games fun, how do we play Fire Emblem to have fun, um, in some ways I guess you could call it that I am uh, on not a crusade against efficiency, that's not the way I would call it, though if you want to put it that way you can, but Something that's come up is, well, I've made a lot of tier lists. I've contributed a lot in discussions and talking to the Cult of Efficiency in Fire Emblem. And so the question then comes up, well, how do I actually play the game? Because the way I talk about the game and the way I play the game is very different. And so while I was trying to come up with like, okay, are units fun to use, are units whatever, that's all subjective. So what I'm going to do is, and I invite uh, people in the comments and in the Discord, link down in the description, uh, to do the same, I'm going to make a heat map of units I use. So what is a heat map? A heat map is generally used in like statistics or like population or whatnot to see like where people go, what's commonly done, what's commonly used. Um, for instance, if like travel, a heat map will tell you where people are throughout the day, um, what roads people travel down more, what roads people travel down less, stuff like that. It's pretty interesting. Um, heat maps can also be used in other places I'm familiar with in uh, StarCraft. They actually did uh, vision tracking heat maps to see where people look, and like 90% of the time uh, they were looking straight at the minimap. And so they're like, okay, if you want to be a pro gamer, study what the pros do. And that's one of the things they did, they stare at the minimap. Uh, something... So with this, I thought, okay, well what's a heat map? What's a way I could do a heat map for Fire Emblem? And that is with units. Um, so here I have all of the Fire Emblem GBA units, uh, if you 6, 7, and 8. Excuse my toddler in the background. And I'm sorting them into... I've done a number of runs of these games before. Mostly FE8, but a decent run number of runs of FE7 and FE6. Always train, usually train, often train, or at least filler. Seldom train, often filler. Rarely train, sometimes filler. Rarely use ever, and never used. So if I pretty much always use a unit, or you know, bas basically always use a unit, then yeah, always train. Usually train are units that I use more often than not, um, but I'm not always driven to them. Often train, or at least filler, yeah, a little bit less. I'll, I'll use them, but not necessarily focus on them. Seldom train, often filler. They'll pop in for a couple chapters and then go away. Rarely train, sometimes filler. Yeah, again, it's a, like, yeah, I'll use them if they're around low availability and then I kind of drop them off or have never really looked into them too much. Rarely use ever units I've just never really touched and never used units I literally have like never touched if like never deployed after their join map or anything on any runs I've done and so this is not necessarily what you should do I'm not tearing them in terms of hey do this I'm tearing them in terms of this is how I play because as the phrase often goes do as I say not as I do Let's see if that's true. I have some units that I know people are going to lynch me for using most or all the time. So let's find out. Roy. So here's the thing about Roy. Technically, you have to bring him under every map. Um, but I'm still going to put him under like rarely trained, sometimes filler, because I'm only really using Roy for combat a little bit in the early game maybe feeding a couple kills here and there, and then he promotes, and then I use him in the end game. Actually, maybe I'll put him into seldom train off and filler, because I always try to train tra train Roy at least a little bit. I'm not a person who, you know, leaves him with absolutely no training whatsoever. Marcus, he's off and filler. I'll use him until, like, I'll use him until the Western Isles and then, like, stop deploying him. Alan and Lance... I'm gonna say I'm a Lance boy. <laughs> I'm a Lance main. Um, Alan's fine. Alan's good. I just have tended to promote Lance more often first. But they both get their time in the spotlight. Alan just kind of falls back because you only get one Knight's Crest, and then, and if I'm promoting Lance, then yeah. 
I've rarely used Walt. Um, maybe I could say that I've never really used Walt. Yeah, I'm not gonna count, like, his presence in the first two chapters, really. Um, yeah, never used Boris. That's about to change in my draft run, though. So, so this is weird. Uh, Merlinus, I'll put him up here, because I sometimes bring him, but... I'll say rarely use ever. I did use him all extensively in my zero bases run, so maybe that'll bump him up a little bit. Pretty much never used Ellen. Deke, I've used. I promoted Deke once and brought him to endgame, and he was fine. Not really worth the hero crest, in my opinion. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I train... I don't know why I train Wade. <laughs> why do I do this to myself? Why have I used Wade in more runs than Deke? <laughs> I'm just addicted with that early hammer life for early hammer boss kills, and then he gets the boss kill experience and he levels up, and then I start using him, and then I feel... Like, well, I've already sunk this much into him, might as well keep keep on it. Why? Shanna. I think I'll put under Usually Train. I'm trying to remember my other FE6 runs, and it's hard. Chad. Thief Utility is hard to talk about. Like, there are some maps where you want multiple thieves, and Chad is a pretty good backup thief. Um, and when I say you want multiple thieves, there are some maps where I want multiple thieves. Because, as we'll get into when we get into later, uh, the rest of the games as well, I'm the type of person, I'm lazy. When it comes to inventory management, I am lazy. I will give people weapons that I think they might use, but when it comes to, like, managing chest keys and whatnot, I don't want to do it. And so I just deploy multiple thieves, even if it's inefficient. Like, on the boat map in FE9, yeah, you can wait until the birds steal stuff, and then you have to be on top of things to kill them to, you know, get it yourself. Or you could give, you know, save up your chest keys for that map and give them to your paladins. Or you could just deploy both Volk, Volk and Soth and get all the chests with your thieves. And I'm lazy, so I get all the chests with my thieves, that's what I do. Lou, I pretty much always use Lou. Sorry, Lilina, I'm a, I'm a Lou user all the way. Uh, Clarine, pretty much always use Clarine. Always use Rutger. Um, I use Saul for filler sometimes. Um, I'm going to put him in Saul. Mm, no, we got rarely sometimes filler. I'll use him for filler when I need extra staves, like in the desert. I never use Dorothy. I usually train Sue, which I guess this is going to point me to where I, to why I always end up in Sakae. I've rarely used Zealot. I've honestly never used Trek or Noah. I... Astor kind of replaces Chad on later maps, usually. Um, though in zero bases, for some reason, I had a thing about training my thieves. It was weird. Lolina. I've used Lolina once through a full run, so I think I have to put her into seldom train often filler. Uh, no, rarely train sometimes filler, because it's one run that I used her in, and it, I was not super impressed. High magic and couldn't double anything, couldn't survive a single hit. Yeah, great unit. Uh, I've never used Wendy or Barth. That's going to change again in my draft run where I use all three armors. <laughs> never used OJ. Um, I often train fur, actually. Maybe I'd even say usually train. Um, here's the problem. Here, this is like. Uh, why do I always train so many Hero Crest units? Because I also usually train a Sin. Gotta train Gonzalez. I don't know what it is about Gonzalez. I just love using him. Geese. I've tried to use a little bit, and it kind of never really went anywhere. Never used you. Rarely used you. I think I tried once, and it didn't really end so well. 
whichever dancer I get, I always use them. Um, Bartre. I'll put it, I'll put you in a rarely use, because yeah, I get you I use a group for a couple chapters and then I forget about you. I've never used Ray. I'm surprised at people. I've never used Kath. Always use Melody. Mm. Oh yeah, always use Percival. I've tried using Cecilia and just I don't know, something about it just doesn't doesn't jive for me. I've never used Sophia, never used Gren, never used Garrett. I've used Fa a little bit, didn't really. Never used Hugh. I've never paid the full amount for Hugh either. I've always just gotten gimped Hugh and uh, taken his items and left them to rot. I've used Zeiss once or twice. He's fine. Takes too long to get up to speed for how late you get him. Never used Douglas. I've used Nimue once, and it just like eh, I'll, I'll put rarely train sometimes filler because like you need some staff bots in late game, and that's where Saul, Saul's going. Not Saul, but it, Yoder's going too. Dan, yeah, I'll put him. I'll put him here. I've used him as as filler for my army. Uh, Juno, never, never used Corel. Okay, that's FE6. That's my heat map of FE6. <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, it is skewed towards good units, but not exclusively good units. <laughs> FE7, here we go. I often train my lords. Crazy as it is, I do often train my lords. Pretty much always use Hector. I usually train Kent and Sane and wherever the freaking gold cab is. Um, I'm going to say I often train Melina. Uh, I usually. Because I usually just use like all the flyers. I've used Will more more than I've used Rebecca. I've actually never used Rebecca seriously, but I've used Will a couple times on a couple runs. Pretty much never used Dorcas, but for some reason I like always use Bartry. <laughs> oh, but I don't usually train. Um, again, it's that weird like one of the fighters I'll just use all the time, way more than the other. Eh, I, I don't like Sarah, I rarely use her. I will usually use Urk, actually. I've never used Wrath, seriously. Um, I, I'll, I'll put Matthew under Always Train, because I do like having a thief in FE7, and he's the only... I'm gonna usually train because I usually do use Matthew quite a bit and Legault is like kind of pops in and I know that he's technically better but I don't I don't know I just kind of use Matthew more maybe it depends maybe it's been a while since I've played a real run of FE7 and not some weird hack of it always bring nails I don't know if I've ever used Lucius I have to have had to have used Lucius at least once. But the fact that I have a hard time remembering makes me feel like I've rarely used him. Never used Wallace seriously. Um, I usually use Marcus. I usually use eh, off often use Oswin. Not all the time, but often. Actually, no. Maybe I'm debating. Yeah, I, th I think often filler is what I use Oswin for. I don't usually promote him, but I often use him as filler. Rarely use Gi. Okay, Merlinus is cheating, because... Obviously, I always deploy Merlinus, but... Pretty much always use Priscilla. Mounted healers, just, just addicted to them. Pretty much always use Raven. Um... 
I often use Kanas, but not all the time. I think I've more often than not not used him. I've used Dart sometimes. He's actually quite good if you level him up, but it's it's just the Ocean Seal is so expensive. Um, I'll usually use Fiora. Actually, maybe less so. Probably less than Florina. Because uh, normally I also run uh, Lin mode, which is why I use Florina more. Uh, Ninian is the same unit as Nils, so gets the same uh, rating. These are not going to be rated within tiers, by the way. Screw that noise. Uh, rarely used Isid. Actually, no, I've never used Isidora. Let's be, let's be real. And I... I actually... Heath is the one wyvern that I've, like, rarely ever used. I have vague memories of trying to level him up and it just being super slow and obnoxious, so I drop him. I'll usually use Hawkeye. Geats. I've... I unlock Geats more often than other people because I usually train my lords, but I've, like, never used Geats. Fence. Usually. Not always, but usually. Louise. As, like, pen support. Really trained sometimes filler. Corel. No. Harkin. He just makes the game so much easier. Uh, Nino. I'll try. I'll level her up. I don't obsess over her. I don't think she's good, but I'll usually... You know, I'll, I've tried to do something. Jafar... He's around. I'll try to do something. I have a hard time finding space in my recruitment for Vita. I think that's the hard thing, just finding space for all these units, and then obviously Athos are forced deployed with, so I have to always use him. Uh, Farina. I usually train Farina. I do. I'm crazy like that, but I usually do. And then Carla. Yeah, no. I get Carla, and then I never use her who uses Carla. So that's FE7 as well. Uh, a little bit more surprised. I don't know if that's actually surprising in the spread here, but it is what it is. And then FE8. I rarely train. No, I'd say seldom train off and fill her because once she gets Sieglin, I'll give her, I'll try to give her a few levels early on and then once she gets Sieglin, uh, she's a really good monster killer because legendary weapons go burr, so yeah can't say you're bad. I usually use Seth at least some- no, I'd say I'd often use Seth. Often or usually? How much am I actually using Seth? Um, recently a lot more than I used to, but because that's the case, I think I'd have to cap him out at often. And same thing with Franz. I think I only often train him, because I've done a lot more runs where I try to use different units, and Franz always ends up on the cutting room floor first, where I'm just like, eh, I don't feel like using you. I've rarely used Gilliam. I've tried. Doesn't really happen. I actually rarely train uh, uh, Molder as well. Just, just not something that I do a lot, because I usually use uh, Artur pretty much always use Arter, and I always get Bishop Arter, and at that point it's like, well, I already have a Bishop, and unless I, there's like only two chapters in the game that you really care about having multiple staves, and that's for Restore. So there you have it, and then I usually have a Sage with loot as well, Sage or, or a Mage Knight, you know, promoted, I use promoted Tome users as my staffers, that's... <laughs> That's what I do. I don't necessarily have dedicated staffers in FE8. Uh, mostly because Lara Shell is... Uh, we'll get to Lara Shell. I'll usually train Vanessa, but I don't feel like I always train her. I don't feel like that's an always thing for me because that's... I don't know. I've always just been put off by how weak Vanessa is in the early game. How hard it is for her to get kills with a slim lance, to deal dam meaningful damage with a slim lance, to get kills. Um, how hard it is for her to hit reliably uh, with a javelin. How easy it is for her to get two shot by most things without a few levels. 
Plus, I'm always training Ross, and so a lot of that experience just goes to Ross anyway. And I'm so focused on setting up kills for Ross in early Erica mode that I completely forget about setting up kills for Vanessa, and I'm normally sending her to, like, grab villages or rescue units or what have you that I'm just not focusing on training her is the problem. I always train Ross. I have a problem. I have a problem. If there's if there is a tier list of always train and they're tier within tiered, I always, always use Ross. It is like an addiction. I can't stop. Someone please send help. I also always have the most speed blessed Rosses ever. Like, the Ross that I got during my uh, doubled enemy growths Iron Man stream was the worst Ross that I'd ever had speed wise because I know his speed growth is only like 30% or something, but for me it's always procced way more than that. It's like it acts like it's a 50 to 60% speed growth for him for some reason, only for me. And I don't know why. And then as soon as I share that with other people and start streaming, it's just Ross slows down back to expectations. <laughs> I've also rarely ever used Garcia, so everyone who's telling me that he's so much better or so much more reliable or more consistent, I just am not getting it. I've used him once, promoted him up to like either hero or warrior, and then he just was kind of slow and weak. Like he was bulky, but he couldn't reliably double things and he couldn't reliably one-shot things. Meanwhile, I have Ross over here who's reliably doubling and one-shotting and critting, which is like, okay. And I know this is all subjective opinion, but like I said, I've always got the most blessed Rosses ever, and apparently the, either the most cursed Garcias, or I'm just not using him enough. This one's gonna make some people upset. I... often... I wouldn't say usually, but I often train Naomi. And I usually train Colm. <laughs> I'm addicted to getting those stealables, and I really love their super fast fire support. And for some reason, it's just like, it just clicks in my head. Like, okay, archer and thief combo, let's go. <laughs> it's such a weird combo, but they, for some reason, work well together, but they do. And then you have Colm as like a combat rogue, or rogue who can do combat, even if he's not great at it. And Naomi, who turns into a ranger and then gets the, the worst of both worlds but granted she's in a game where a large number of the monsters don't have two range you have to deal with all the whites that have two range or one two range but it's like not as hard to train an archer or a ranger as you would expect in fe8 i don't know maybe i just have a problem i I use Natasha even less than I use Mulder. She just comes in later and it's such a low level. I've leveled her up all the way once and it was not worth it. Joshua. I'd say I'd often train Joshua, probably around similar rate as Naomi. Uh, he's ruined me for other Swordmasters because he is bulky. Bulky, and at least in terms of his raw HP, is really thick. Like, you promote him... And he has, like, close to 40 HP on average, which is insane for a Swordmaster compared to what I'm used to. He has, like, fighter health pools, but he's a sword unit. Or maybe that's also just, just my own subjective experience, but he's ruined me for other Swordmasters because he's just super bulky. Oh, I can also remove the... Um... Oh, not filter. Uh, hide controls, that one. I can remove that. I'm sure there are some people who have been, like, begging me to do that. I usually train Ephraim. I'm debating whether I say I always train Ephraim. I think I can say I always train Ephraim. He just... Okay, I'm gonna say I usually train him, because the only thing is that I don't train him when I go Erica route, but I usually go Ephraim route, so... I usually train Ephraim. Ford, I rarely train. Uh, Kyle, I often train. Again, another one of these, like, hey, two units, one of which I just use a lot more often. I like Kyle's bulk. I just think that those couple extra points of defense he has over Ford or even Franz, like, at least at his join time, just... I probably use Kyle about as much as I use Franz, and I can't explain why. I just do. I just like how defensive Kyle feels 
Regardless of if that's true or not, he just feels really bulky to me. I don't know how to put Orson in this list. <laughs> I guess for the one chapter he's here, I... I'll use him as filler, or he'll help out, but I do try to train Ephraim and Kyle on their map, so I don't just rush things with with Orson. Tana? I'm gonna say I do often train her. I think I've trained her less recently than I have before, but I remember before I would train Tana more than Vanessa normally. I mean, or I would just train both. Now I'd say I probably use Vanessa more, but I don't use Tana a ton, but I feel like I want to use Tana more. I have to I think I have to drop Tana because I feel like I want to use her more than I actually use her. I'll use her for a couple chapters and that's about it. Um Amelia I actually rarely train Amelia. The only times I train Amelia are when I'm doing uh, super recruit shenanigans where you basically just level her up as recruit twice and then she gets 15 uh, crit bonus and that turns her into basically a sword master with lances with still really poor caps. Really poor caps. Her strength cap is like something super low, like 24. And her speed cap, I think, is like 26 or something. It's Her caps, for some reason, are just super low, no matter what class you bring her into, except for general, in which case she still has slightly lower caps um, and like a really low speed cap because general. Yeah, I, I rarely use Amelia, to be perfectly honest, and I don't think I've ever actually seriously used Inna's. And I rarely use Sala, Sala, because I don't know why, I just kind of never really used him. I know he's basically FE8 version of Pent, but I just, something about me just doesn't like using him a lot. Okay, I'm going to put him in a rarely, no, no, I actually use him less than the other units, which, which means maybe I should, maybe I need to bring him up a little bit. No, no, yeah, that's that's where I'm gonna put him. I always use Garrick. I can't not use Garrick. Just so many good memories using this unit. He's so good. Always use Tethys. Um, I could put her under usually train because I remember more of my early runs of FE8 where I wouldn't use a dancer, but I'm gonna say I always use Tethys because it's just the way I play now, so much more so. Marisa, I'm gonna put two tiers below Joshua because while I have used Marisa a couple times, she never turned out close to as good as Joshua in any time. She always has just overkill speed and skill and like nothing else worth going for her, which means that the only route that she kind of excels in potentially more than Joshua is Assassin because she will just cap out that speed and skill and then potentially have better luck with assassinate uh, silencer procs, but yeah, no. But the funny thing that I would do as a kid is I would always get the Joshua Marisa support up to A, because I just, I don't know, I felt it was fun. I was 10 years old, what are you going to do? Um, I often try to train Lara Shell. It doesn't always end well, but I try to. Um, something that I did once successfully and loved was I turned her into a Valkyrie and I gave her S rank light magic, which means I grinded her in the tower for light magic as soon as I promoted her and never used a staff again until she had S rank, just so she could use the Evaldi, because I didn't want my bishops to be my Evaldi users because bishops deal more damage to monsters with aura than with Evaldi. These are the things you do when you're in high school and you're bored and you have one game that you really like. <laughs> I've never actually used Dozla. I pretty much always use Yuin. Again, same thing as Ross. It just, I have a problem, I have an addiction, and apparently it can only be cured by using trainee units. 
Um, and for some reason, I just don't use Amelia that much, but I always use Ross and Ewan. I always use Cormag, and I think everyone who plays Ephraim Route at least uses Cormag. It's pretty common. Uh, I'm going to say seldom train off in filler for Renak because... Again, it's it's the same thing with um, that I talked about in FE6 is I'm lazy. And there are a couple maps that have a number of chests in two locations. And instead of having to buy chest keys and plot out who will carry the chest keys and take them to the chests, or instead of having one thief go to one location and then go to another location, I just deploy two thieves have one go one way, one go the other, and call it a day. And I rarely have problems beating the maps because the rest of my units are strong enough. Eh? Like I said, I'm lazy. I'll use both my thieves in the same map. Fight me. Do so odd? I rarely use Dussel, actually. For some reason, it's just... I don't know if it's something about being a great knight, if it's something about being pre-promoted and having higher stats for such an early... Like, low AXP gain for how early he comes in. I, I don't know what it is, but I've, like, rarely ever used Dussel. I think I've maybe brought him in, like, one run. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm already using Ross and probably using Joshua, and probably using at least one Cavalier, that I'm just like, what legendary weapons is he getting? I don't know. And then I just kind of, I'll pop them in if I have a slot, but I usually am training so many project units in FEA that I just don't care to bring a pre-promote in. Which is weird, because he's such a good unit, but again, I just don't really use him a lot. Null... I'm going to put him in our honor often train. If I ever need a real quick, easy summoner, he's there. Um, whenever I was doing Lagdao Ruins, I used both him and Ewan as summoners. Uh, because as a teenager, again, Lagdao Ruins was very hard. And playing it on cartridge meant that if you lost a unit or had to reset, you had to go all the way back to the start. There were no saves between floors, there were no save states, there was nothing. You get nothing! And so it hit a point where I was sick and tired of getting stoned and crit by gargoyles, uh, gargoyles, gorgons. I saying gargoyles, but in pair. But sick, so sick and tired of getting stoned by gorgons and then crit and killed, uh, that I started using double phantom strats, where I would just send out two phantoms to lure out enemies, uh, so I could kill them, and then send out more phantoms to lure in more enemies, and I refused to lure anything uh, on the Fog of War maps that wasn't uh, with units that weren't phantoms, and it was slow, and it was tedious, but I beat Lagdow Ruins on cartridge as, as, as like a 16 year old, so I, I always use Mer. I've I don't know if there is a run where that I've played aside from uh, the Seth solo where I have not brought Mer to the final map. Whether or not I've trained her in other maps, I usually use Mer in the final maps, and I usually try for that golden one-shot crit with Mer. That that is the dream. I've done it before, the golden one-shot where you just get a strong Mer to crit the Demon King, and she will do his entire health bar of 120 HP in a single hit crit, and it is glorious and delightful. And if you've never done this before, open up FE8, get someone to send you a save file of the end game, throw Murr at the Demon King, and just enjoy. That's all I'm gonna say. Just, just, just enjoy. Just have fun. I also usually throw her at Morva just for thematic reasons, I guess. I don't know. And I've, like, rarely used Cyrene. Um, I've tried once before. I used her for triangle strat shenanigans, and she was always just incredibly weak and unfulfilling. And by that point of the game, I had so many flyers that I didn't think that I needed another one for rescue strats. 
so I didn't use her beyond just triangle strat shenanigans, and that's that's it. So that is my heat map of GBA Fire Emblem. These are the units that I actually use, regardless of the units that I say are good or not. Feel free to laugh at me in the comments below. Feel free to recommend that I use units that I haven't in the comments down below. And maybe, once I no longer have a million uh, runs of Fire Emblem queued up in my stream playthroughs, I will get there. And I will do either a low tier run or runs with only units that I've not used before or something like that. But until then, this is Mithril Zenith signing out.